The way in which the ORF process is being explored in Australia, I think is, if I may modify the word unique, extremely or especially unique. Whereas the ORF approach tends to be used in elementary schools and primary schools almost exclusively elsewhere, here we use the ORF approach from preschool right through to university level, particularly with some emphasis in secondary music making. So we have a combination of cultures, a combination of musics, and a combination of ideas working right through from preschool to university level. And I think in that sense, this country is unique. The process which is outlined in the old schulwerk is a process which ultimately leads to a full musical understanding, given that the process starts with improvisation and information which children can then use. Today we're going to learn a rhyme, and I'm, we, I want you to repeat parts of the rhyme after me. No need to listen. No need to listen. Sparkle and glisten. Sparkle and glisten. Not a sound, not a swish. You guessed I'm a fish. Not a sound, not a swish. You guessed I'm a fish. Well, today we're going to put some music to it, and we're going to sing a song that goes with the, the speech that we learned the other day. We're going to put some movements to it first and some sound sources. Have a go, Ben. Very good. The relevance of the ORF approach for young people is the way in which their particular properties can be adopted by the ORF approach and then adapted. By that, I refer to things like the rap idiom, electronic music, synthesizers, and all the things that are the product of musical minds and musical imagination of today. A suggestion might be that you vary the rhythm and something like this. Instead of playing them together, as we have, you might decide to separate them like that. Okay, or, okay, and like that. So whatever you're capable of doing, but you need to come up with some sort of change in your group, and then you can perform the groups for the class. A further advantage of the approach is in the way in which it starts with very simple or if you like very elemental ideas and from these simple ideas a rich and complex variety of sounds can be created and not simply sounds but sounds which are also incorporated with movement and sounds which are incorporated with dance. So from a simple rhyme and a simple rhythm and simple pitch the child can be led through a vast array of repertoire to a rich and varied repertoire of great complexity. education, the place of the traditional repertoire acknowledges that there has been a starting point. So the traditional repertoire says to teachers, this is the essence, this is the foundation on which I will build my music education program. But in this country, with its imaginative teaching, 
and it's imaginative thinking, we can incorporate all those things which young people understand musically, we can incorporate this into the classroom and we can turn it into a teaching advantage. That is to say, we can try to make sense of their musical world via the classroom and thereby enrich their understanding of their world and in introduce them to a new musical world. Oh. Shake it, shake it, shake it now, shake it. Way started was back at Gunta. Music and sounds making one school shot. No shame in his rhythm, check him out while he gets up. Shake it to the left, shake it to the right. Sing with him, it's gonna be a long night. Looking for class, class, the rock sent to offer. Check him, baby, check him, baby, no, you can't cover. Watch him, at least band to the rock. And often make your jaws drop. And he stops, and it's the last note. And the look on your grill, shows how you feel. And it make you feel ill with a whole lot of skills. He's not into losing, he's into composing. And if you start composing the paper, you'll be eating. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. Shake it, baby, shake it now, shake it like that. 